Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on a Dell Optiplex all-in-one system, the 5250 model. I'm gonna show you how to get inside, access your storage, the hard drive and the solid state drive. Now, before we get going, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's all the way powered off. Make sure the power cord is unplugged. We're gonna flip it over, lay it flat on the screen. Make sure there's nothing underneath that can damage or scratch it. And then we're gonna go at it from the rear, try to get that panel off. Okay, so to get the stand off, there's a button right here underneath it. I'm gonna push that button down and then lift up from here to get that stand off. And the stand comes right up like that. So after removing that stand, there's no screws you have to take out. We're just gonna pry this panel up from this end here. So I'm gonna take a small flat screwdriver and very carefully just put it under there, pop this up very gently. You can see I'm just going around the bottom, try not to put it way far in, just on the edge, and you can pop that right up. So after taking that panel off, this is what it's looking like for the inside of the computer. Now, as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, I have it sitting on this anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as all of the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model, the 5250, there'll be a link above. Also below in the description, it'll be a list of all the things I use in my shop, and again, all the replacement and upgrade parts for this model computer. Right here, you have a 2.5 inch SATA hard drive or solid state drive port. They do make solid state drives in that 2.5 inch SATA casing. Uh, so this was a hard drive stock. It has since been upgraded to a solid state drive. The way you access this, the drive is held in by this blue caddy. And the way to get it out is you would push this part down a little bit. And then as the arrow indicates, you would push it up, unplugging it from the SATA port. And then you can take it up like that. To get it out of the caddy, there are no screws. You would just pull slightly on one side and that drive comes right out of the caddy. Uh, to get it back in, you would just put those plugs into the holes, make sure the SATA port lines up correctly, lay it down, uh, push this down a little bit to get it out of the way and then pull back down to plug it in. I will have several 2.5 inch SATA hard drives and solid state drive options for you below in the description in that link I told you about with all the replacement and upgrade parts for this computer. Right here you have this metal panel to access some more components. Again, no screws. This is a very nice computer to work on. There's just a pull tab here. So you push that down a little bit and then slide it that way. And that panel comes right off pretty easily. If you really would like to upgrade your storage as well, there's a single M.2 port right here that holds the smaller 2230s and the 2280 solid state drives. I will try to have several replacement and upgrade options for this solid state drive port as well below in the description in that link with all the replacement and upgrade parts. I guess the last thing I can shout out about this kind of operation, if you are replacing or installing a new drive, you may need to install an operating system onto that drive after in order for the computer to work. Uh, so if you want help with that, I'll have two video links below. One will be a tutorial showing you how to install Windows 10 onto a Dell computer. The other will be showing you how to install Windows 11. And if you by chance are replacing a bad drive, there is still a chance you can get data off a bad drive. I'll have information for that below in the description as well. If you guys have any questions, check out the FAQs in the description below. It could save you some time getting an answer. But if you do need to leave me a question or comment, I do try to get to those at least a couple times a day. Thank you so much for watching guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.